hello, what's up, and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another NCAA 06 SAU Dynasty video. And today we're taking on Baylor. But first things first, we have our last in season recruit signed. He's ready to go, signed, sealed, and delivered. His name is Carlos Polly. And I'm hoping that he is a study. He runs a 4 3, has a nice vertical, and all that good stuff. Average potential and good discipline. And we saw that our man Keith Ashley, he is our only player that is a finalist for anything, but he's, he's not even quite a finalist. He missed out on being the top three for the uh, Jim Thorpe Award for the best defensive back in the country. They hating on us, man. That's all I can say. They are straight hating on us. Now, anyways, man, we're going to jump into this ball game and take a shot deep on third down. And my man Ware's going to come up with it. And the Baylor Bears like, where did he come from? Second and six, we can go with Henderson to the left side. And Henderson with a spin move. He's going to get up to the 20-yard line. And that's going to be another fresh set of downs for the SAU Bulls. Now, Henry going to roll out. And Henry going to try to take it himself. But he gets smacked from behind. Set up third and two. Wide receiver screen to my man Chris Oliver. He's going to tiptoe in the end zone. Touchdown. Baylor, not Baylor Bears, what am I saying? SAU Bulls, man. Let's do this, man. So we are going to take a 7-0 lead right here in the early going. They got this man, though, Nelson. He's a fantastic running back. He can, he can get to the outside with some speed and picks up a first down right there. Then they go up. I got Bud Brown. is like there. Nah, son. Nah. This is one of the best linebacking cores in the country, bro. So don't be trying to do that. And then my man Covington, he's going to come over from a strong city position to bat that thing away. And now drop at the pass. Go over the middle. going to be caught, but well short of the first down. So get off the field. So the Bulls take over. We're going to get this thing to my man Ken Young Brown. And Ken Young Brown going to pick up a big first down. Let's go, son. Henry going to roll out. Henry going to stop, going to pop, going to find Chris Oliver, who makes the catch in bounds. Move. Those chains for the SAU Bulls. Now going to the left side again. We're going to find Fred. Give me some more. Makes a big time catch. Now we can get the ball to Henderson. Up that guy. And he's going to pick up a big first down five. Carry 16 yards for my man Henderson. Now Henry going to roll out. Going to stop. Going to pop. Going to find where and where is in the end zone for an SAU touchdown. Five straight completions for my man Henry, and that's going to give us a 14-point lead. They try to go to the flat again, but coming to this dead saying, uh-uh-uh, you got to throw that ball the other way. Henderson, he gets the carry to kick off the drive, and he's going to pick up another first down. Six carries, 27 yards for him. Now Henry dropping back. Henry going up top to Fred. Give me some more. Makes the big-time catch. And we got this thing inside the red zone of the Baylor Bears. Make that inside the five. Y'all are because we're doing our thing, baby. Number one in your heart and number one in your program. Baby Fred Moore Henderson, he's gonna do the rest as he gets into the end zone. Touchdown SAU. A 21, not a spanking is going on, man. And then go, there goes Covington. He's like, I'm tired of batting these balls away. Let me make this catch. Let me get this INT. And we have to sing on back the other way. Now, if you didn't notice, we are the number four team in the country. So we have an outside chance, man. Next game is versus Texas. But first things first, gotta win this game right here. We're gonna find Moses. Oh, Moses. Moses picks up a nice gain of nine, making a third and one. Henderson, he's going to take the one around to the right side. Picks up the first down. Let's go, man. Henry gets popped. Henry gets dropped. And Henry gets knocked out. So we have one of our athletes at quarterback. We, we recruited him as an athlete, but we moved him to quarterback. His name is Riley, and Riley is gone. First ever snap, first ever play. He is two. The crib touchdown, S-A-U. And just like that is a 28 to nothing ball game. Riley, again, he's a redshirt freshman. We recruited him uh, with another athlete at quarterback who's more of a Trey Henry athlete. You know, very strong, but not too athletic. But, you know, it is what it is. But, hey, man, anyways, third and five. They tried to run the football. That's not what you do versus us, man. So get off the field. Then Riley's like, I'm going to take it myself, coach. And he's going to pitch this one to Kenyon Brown. And we're going to get stopped the yard show. Now, my man Henry was like, you know what, son? I see what you're doing out here. Give me my job back before you take it for real. So anyways, Henry over the mill going to find my man Robinson who makes that catch for another first down for the SAU Bulls. Henry dropped at the pass and Henry's like, you know what? You might be able to run some. I'm out here throwing dots. I'm throwing bullets. I'm making it rain out here. Then we're going to give the ball to my man Ken Young Brown who gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, SAU. 
you. And now it is a 35 to nothing ball game going in the halftime. The number four team in the country, SAU, was doing work. Now they have their star running back back there at kick return, and Nelson, he's doing work. Nelson, he's like, you know, get out of my way. So I'm breaking four, five, six, seven. I don't know how many tackles he broke, but he broke a lot. But we finally bring him down to 44 yards. So first day of 10, they can go with the QB keeper. He actually finds some running room. Nice spin move right there. And he has this one in the SAU territory. So third and four, they're going to go with the end around. That's Dixon who dies for it, and he has enough to move the first down chains, man. So move the first down chains for the Baylor Bears. And then right there, I got goes the QB. But my man Mitchell, who is in for Hal, gets in there for the big time takedown. So first and 10. Going back to pass again. Late on the grass. Sit down, son. We get some more pressure on the quarterback. Now they're going to go to the outside. Going to be caught by Houston, who runs a man over and picks up the first down. That is just pathetic. Nelson to the outside. He's going to make a man miss. Get into the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor. And they are on the ball for the first time today. So can we match this team blow for blow and keep this blowout going? We're up by 28. Let's make that up by 35 again. We get the ball to my man Brown. And Brown is going to pick up another first down. Second and 10. We can go with my man Henderson. And Henderson, he's going to pick up first down. Whenever we run the ball, we're going to pick up 10 yards a pop. That's just what we do, man. This is what we do at SAU. Now we're going to roll out. And that pass hits the grass. And we got to get the ball back to Baylor. Psych. We're going to go for it. Now, I thought he was going to come up and try to make a tackle. But he didn't want none. He didn't want none of Kenyon Brown, the best freshman to have back that the world. Okay, not the world has ever seen. But he's pretty freaking good, man. Now, Henry going to roll out. Henry is so slow. I know you're scared of your job being taken away, but it might be taken away anyway because Ken Campbell is going to be healthy for the last game of the season. That's right. Ken Campbell will be back next week. So, anyways, dropping back the pass, going over the middle. We're going to find Taylor, and Taylor's going to make a big-time catch. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to start Ken Campbell. I might stick with my man Trey Henry. You know what I mean? Who knows? Now, Watkins, he's going to make a catch. The big tight end rumbling and bumbling and stumbling makes it a first down for the Baylor Bears, who are down 38-7. to seven. Going to take a shot deep, and it's going to be caught in double coverage. What is going on unbelievable pass right there 39 yard touchdown pass is complete for a, a, a touchdown yeah y'all know y'all know what i'm trying to say anyways man third and 11 now we're gonna go we're gonna keep it on the ground we're gonna pick up nothing we'll we pick up a few yards but we're gonna end up giving the ball right back to baylor 38 to 14 to score 46 seconds to go they can go up top to clark who gets brought down by keith ashley but has enough for a fresh set of downs now my man brown is in there for the sack making the third and 16 but then they do a little trick -a little speed action they pitch it to nelson and nelson is off to the races what is going on defense nine seconds to go they're going to go back to the same play, and again, Nelson is in the open field. Nothing but green grass in front of him. He's going to pick the first down, and the coach wants to go for two. He wants to write back and tell his wife, no, the game is actually pretty close, and it really wasn't. Okay, so he can't can make the catch. So 38-20 to 20 is the final in this one. We go to 9-2. and two. We have to play Texas next week again. Ken Campbell, he will be healthy for that game, but do I start him is the question. Now, we have a chance. We have an outside chance because I believe Ohio State is ahead of us in the polls, but they already played their last game versus Michigan. Um, as of right now, I do believe that Texas is ranked, so that goes in our favor as well. And Wisconsin is also ranked ahead of us, and they are also done with their season so hopefully we have an outside chance at the national championship it's been a down year with the two two losses but you know it is what it is man but hope you guys have a great one and i'm gonna see you guys later peace hot sauce